Castle Lake. We're at Broadford uh, in Victoria. I'm a beef cattle farmer. The property that you can see in the background is a property I bought four years ago now to add to my existing property to run as a beef cattle farm or an extension of the operation. Right from the start, I always intended or, and did uh, set aside some areas that would never be grazed, partly uh, because some of it wasn't suitable, but also um, there was there's one particular feature, which is a very long creek and gully. The creek itself, or the gully, in some area, in some locations, had uh, a lot of bad erosion. Fencing was done, it followed the, the line of the creek or the gully. At that time, uh, I also decided that it would be a good idea to revegetate along the sides of the creek, because whilst there was some native vegetation in the gully, it uh, was uh, not uh, a diverse range. There was, as you can see in the background, a good canopy of uh, red gum and um, box mainly, and some reasonable grasses and, and herbs and so on along the ground, but not, no shrub layer in between. Now, in fencing it out, which I did about three or so years ago, I noticed that with the exclusion of the stock, there was some natural regeneration occurring, which I thought was fantastic. I thought we'd need to put in some plants. So in this last autumn, three or four months ago, I organised to have 1,700 plants. I ordered 1,700 plants to put in, mainly uh, understory, probably 20 different species in total, of which a good half would be acacia. And uh, they're in the ground, and um, you can probably see in the background the plant guards around them, and they're hopefully growing away furiously with this great weather we're having. And, and I hope in time that that will provide better habitat. Even though I'm a beef cattle farmer, I get a great thrill out of seeing the plants grow, so the funding is, is extremely welcome. In total in the last two years, just in my southwest Goulburn Landcare area, protected 265 hectares of land with about 10 landholders, so I think that's a fabulous outcome. With this project, we found that landholders are willing to do works and if we can give them a little bit of financial assistance, they don't get fully funded, it's only partially funded and then they have the management issue for the, the next 10 years and the reporting etc. But they're really keen to come on board with some assistance. As Henry mentioned previous, you know, farming is difficult, you do get issues happen, prices can drop really quickly for stock or for wool etc. So if we can assist the landholders in any manner, it's a benefit not only for the landholder but I think the whole area in general.